How's it going everybody? In this video we're going to focus on PPPoE or point to point protocol over Ethernet. And it says client side only on the technologies but I figured uh, why not just show you the server too. It would help get everything situated. Now typically the only time you're going to do this is if you're going to be configuring DSL. And uh, that's the most common arrangement you're going to have with a provider is with DSL and using a modem to connect to it. So if you have a a router that's got the dialer interface capability and you want to connect your router to the modem's internet, in, uh, Ethernet interface and put the modem into bridge mode and then get an IP address via the DHCP server from the provider then that's or you can configure it manually if you'd like. Um, but we're gonna, just going to do a very basic configuration of PPPoE uh, just to get it operational and get everything situated and uh, I'm going to wa forewarn you I didn't test this uh, config before I tried it I have done it before and I always go I always have documentation available when I do it because I do I do it so infrequently um, on the server side and the client side that it's it's actually kind of humorous the amount of issues that I have uh, for some people they get a, they get a kick out of it so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on PPPoE itself and which isn't really isn't that much to, wor to work on and then we're going to get into the configuration of it and so the server itself you're going to define a PPP interface and so you're going to say interface virtual template number and uh, PPP uh, it's uh, encapsulation is PPP by default and then you have additional things like authentication multi-link and IP addressing uh, to go beyond that then we have a define a BBA group or a broadband uh, ac uh, access group and this PBA group is going to uh, be what you actually apply things to and then what you're going to be doing is you're creating the virtual template which is what you did up here so you're going to be binding these two together and then you're going to go to uh, the interface and apply that to where you're going to go it's very very bland very very st relatively straightforward but I think once I once I get everything configured and the, the funny thing about it is the configuration on the client side is like stupid simple uh, that's why I think they're having you guys cover it so we'll get the configuration of the server side done and then we'll do the uh, the configuration on the um, on the client done so I'm gonna move that out of the way I'm gonna go to router 2 I'm gonna go to global config and I'm gonna type in interface virtual template virtual template and we're going to say number one and question mark question mark and hit and we're going to uh, hit enter and now we're underneath this information and now we need uh, if you I don't know if we need to do the encapsulation okay so it's PPP by default because you don't have to do anything there so what we're going to do is we're actually going to exit out of this our encapsulation there it is encapsulation PPP and so it's already there. We're going to exit, or actually, this is where we give it the IP address. IP address of, we're going to say 12.0.2 24-bit mask. Okay. And then we're going to exit out of here. And then we're going to type in BBA group. We're going to give it a, it's going to be a PPPoE type. And we're going to give it a name, which is going to be uh, CCNP. So it's pretty straightforward. And then under here, so there it goes up, so we know things are starting to work. We're going to do virtual template, uh, we're a virtual template one, and hit enter. And then that's all we have to do, because we're going to be mapping it to it. And then what we need to do now is exit out of here, and we need to type in, um, uh, we're going to be placing this, I believe this goes on the interface. So we're going to say interface virtual uh, virtual template one enter and we're going to say uh, I believe PPP PPP no it's going to be interface fast two slash zero and we type in PPP OE there we go enable and then the the group and we're going to say is CCNP and hit enter. Okay, so type in do show IP interface brief. 
So we have our PPPoE connection there, and as you can see, it's down, down. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the client now and configure that. So on the client side, which is going to be router 1, we're going to go to this guy. We're going to go to global config. We're going to type in interface dialer 1. Give it an IP address of 12.0.0.1, 24 bit mask. We're going to give it an encapsulation of PPP. And we're going to say dialer, dialer pool, and then a number, just one for, for uh, the sake of argument. We're going to exit out of here. And we're going to apply this to interface fast 1 slash 0. And we're going to type in PPP. OE enable and PPP uh, OE dash client and we're going to say dialer dial pool number and we're going to call the dialer pool that we configure which is dialer pool one and we're going to hit enter and then we type in do show and as you can see everything can, everything's coming up so do show IP interface brief so that's up. Let's go to router two. Make sure it came up. Uh, it appears as it, as it is. We're up, up. So do ping 12.0.0.1, and we can ping it. That's a good sign. So in that short amount of time, we have pinged. Uh, we've done our PPPoE configuration. It's relatively straightforward. I've done. I have done this a couple of times, so it went relatively straightforward and uh, pretty easy to do so what you're going to do again is on here we're going to do a on the server you need to configure a let me bring this over here for the config this is all I did so on the on the server you're going to configure interface virtual template number and a number it's got the encapsulation of PPP by default then what you're going to do is you're going to define a BBA group a broadband access group and then you simply give it a name. I gave it the name CCNP because the fact that it's applicable. And or you can say global. That would also work. Then you're going to say virtual template one. So you're going to bind the BBA group to the virtual template group, or the I'm sorry, the uh, virtual template number. So once you've done that, now they're bound together. Now what you're going to do then is you're going to go to the interface. So interface fast two slash zero like I did, and you're going to say PPPoE enable. So that's how I was able to affect this. I'm going to type in uh, do show run interface fast 2 slash 0. And you can see in here that I have an IP address, but I've also got it. It's also PPPoE. So I don't plan on keeping this configuration, but I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like. So I should be able to put, do ping 172.16.123.1. Okay, so it had to ARP. But as you can see we have we've mapped everything together and it does work so that's a good sign and then if we come down to well, let me bring this back over and if we scroll down to the client all you're doing is creating a dialer dialer interface giving it the encapsulation the dialer pool number so then, then you're going to apply map this to the physical interface and then you're good to go that's all there really is to it so it's rel relatively straightforward doesn't take a lot to get it done but then again I liked having this config here it breaks everything down for you and easy to follow along and you're good to go so that's it for PPP um, I'm not going to go any farther with that uh, simply for the fact that it's not covered anywhere else and the only time you would ever have to probably do this is on uh, you might have to do authentication and they'll tell you the username and password so typically you're, if you're underneath the interface so interface fast 2 slash 0 I believe is we're going to do this. We type in PPP. Uh, okay, so we actually go to probably interface, um, let's exit out of here, probably interface dialer 1 and enter and probably under here PPP um, uh, cap PPP okay we already have that so um, I'm not sure if authentication is going to be even supported under here so it might be underneath let me pull this guy back up it might be underneath the the interface wonder if that would be the case let's go back to interface 
fast two slash zero. Actually, you know what? I'm on router one. So interface virtual template. Let's exit out of here. So interface virtual template. Um, actually, no. Interface dialer dialer one. Yeah, it's uh. Let's actually, um, oh yeah, I'm under dialer pool pool one. Yeah, there, and then we have. Doesn't look like it's even supported. So if we were to go to interface fast one slash zero, and it's PPPoE enable enable, and then that, and then PPPoE client and I'm kind of I'm actually just uh, actually dial pool number one yeah I'm not even sure if there is a way to authenticate this if there is I don't know but I was just trying to get an idea for how that would work but at the end of the day to me it really doesn't make much of a difference as long as you know how to configure this stuff and go from there so I hope this has been informative for you and there's, there's a question: Am I going to keep this configuration in there? No, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this out. I just wanted to show you how to do PPPoE because it's on the blueprint. So basically, all I'm doing is going through and explaining how the configurations work and the technologies behind them. So PPPoE is normally indicative of a DSL environment, and that's the only reason I brought it up. And so, uh, for those that are going to be using PPPoE in the production. Uh, actually, I just had to do deal with the one not too long ago. It was actually probably about a month or so ago, and I actually a little bit longer than that, probably about six weeks. And I had to. Uh, it was the I think the end of March. I was doing the the config, and I had to get the uh, updated password from AT and T. And all I did was I configured some stuff on my side, and uh, I had a username and password. And the username, I think, was the email, and the password was something that they handed me. And then I just copied that information in, or typed it into the router, and away it went. It did everything else for me. And so we were all good to go. So that was the extent of our configuration at that site uh, for PPPoE. And then we were able to get it up, and we were able to ping. And that was the only thing that I cared about. So um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If not... I will be seeing you in the next video. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.